Yo, how's it guys? Welcome back. And uh, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is my Emite Raid Carbon Fiber Single Roller Gun. Ever since I bought this gun, a lot of you have been asking me what I thought about the gun and like if I thought it was worth the price tag. I thought I'd just take the opportunity to make an overview slash review video of this gun. So all of Emite's roller guns come with the same Fury roller head, whether it's the double or single roller, it's all the same head. So the rollers are made out of machine injected delivery. Basically that is a type of hard plastic specialized for the gun. The rollers itself have a one inch ID and all the other components to the head are made out of 316 machine grade stainless steel parts. The barrel is made out of 100% carbon fiber. You can get it in either matte black or glossy black color options. You can choose from, I believe 115 centimeters all the way up to 140 centimeters in length. My particular gun is 120 centimeters and I chose the matte black option. Now, when you're buying this gun on their website, you won't have the option to add a reel. I contacted Aimright directly and asked them if they could buy the reel separately and they just attach it for me, which they were able to do for me. Now, the design of the barrel is a reversed wing barrel. Basically, the wings is here towards the center of the bow, and that's strictly unique to the Rage model. I know some of the other models like the Vengeance and I believe the King Light, the wings are located at different spots of the bow. The barrel comes foam filled and what that does is one, it strengthens the barrel and two, it actually silences the actual shot of the gun when you're shooting underwater. And thirdly, being that it's foam filled, it actually helps stabilizes the gun when you are tracking fish or aiming down the sight. I don't know if you folks noticed this with like some other pipe guns where they could actually be a little bit too buoyant and you're fighting to hold that gun in pace or like with wooden guns, if they're too heavy, then you're fighting it, keeping it in the position you want, you're aiming at basically. Now, I'm not too sure if this was purposely intended to function this way, but when you load the bands, the bands actually rest on the wings. That helps a lot with aiming down the sight. It doesn't bulk up on the shaft as if, you know, some of the wooden guns, um, even pike guns actually, I've noticed when you load the band, sometimes they bulk up onto the shaft and it kind of, it kind of hinders the aiming down the sight. Now, as far as the trigger, I am not too sure, but I believe that all of the models come with the Fury handle. These handles are made out of a DuPont super tough nylon. And basically what that means is it's the same material they use on assault rifles. The trigger mechanism itself is metal injected molded and can withstand a thousand pounds of force. For those of you that have been diving for a while, you know that the older aluminum pipe guns, their trigger mechanisms wasn't 100% stainless steel. Majority of them was like a 60, 40, 70, 30 split between steel and plastic and was known to fail when you overpowered the gun. And finally, the shaft. Now you have two choices to choose from when you're ordering your gun. The first one is a nitrix oxide shaft, which is those black shafts you see. It comes with a tri-cut tip. So basically it's shaved down to where it's a tri-tip. Those shafts usually don't come with shark fins, they come with slots. And a lot of us don't prefer that because when you cut into the shaft, you're actually weakening your shaft. The second option to the oxide shaft is the stainless steel roller shaft. Now, those are the ones that come with the shark fin and I think pretty much is the more preferable between the two. As for me, as you can see, I am running the stainless steel roller shaft. So when you purchase a gun from Aimright, it they ship it to you ready to shoot. It comes with the bands, it comes with the shooting line. These are 16 millimeter bands and it came with 300 pound mono double wrap. 
The bands that I have on the gun now are the original 16 millimeter bands. And as you can see, I swapped out the shooting line for this Dyneema shooting line. All right, so to answer the two questions, first, uh, how do I like the gun? Honestly, I really love this gun. I think it's the best gun I've ever shot. Better than the Fury, better than the cap I used to have, and all of the aluminum pipe guns I used to have. The simple fact that it's a quiet gun, has lots of power, very accurate, and no recoil, that sets it apart from all the other guns I've tried. Now, as far as rollers, I've only tried the Aimer Fury and the Aim Right Rage. I haven't tried any of the other ones like the Salmar, the Rob Allen, or any of the other brands out there. Honestly, I think rollers are in a league of its own as far as guns compared to the standard band gun. With that said, it really is hard for me to go back to a standard gun. The Rage has become my primary gun to use in almost all my dives and the Fury is my backup. Like I said before, I sold the cap. I have two more standard guns left. An old Omer GI Cayman as well as a much older model Andre Spear guns. I'm pretty sure if I get both of those guns up and running again, I'll probably eventually sell those. As good as these guns are, I will say there are things that make them a little tricky. For one, I need a load assist to load these guns. And as far as the second question, is it worth the money? Is it worth the price tag? Yes, I absolutely do not regret buying these guns. These guns, the aim rights, I don't know, they just have a feel to them that I, I love. And performance wise, like, pff, I don't know, they're just smooth. Performance wise, I get everything that I want, accuracy, no recoil, and relatively light. And then cosmetic wise, they're just, they're freaking sexy guns. The only thing sexier is if they could have like a black and gold carbon gun. But yeah, so how do I feel about the gun? Best gun ever. Is it worth the price tag? Absolutely. All right guys, so if you found this video insightful, helpful, or any of that, then please hit the like button. Definitely helps out the channel. And if you would like to see more of this type of content, gear review type of content, then let me know in the comments and what kind of gear you would like me to review. And lastly, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so whenever I do post something, you guys are up to speed. Now, my last video from this video was like two months ago. And in that video, I said I was gonna post videos weekly. And two months later, I didn't post a single video until this one. I'm not gonna promise that I'm going to be posting videos weekly because honestly, that would be a lie. But just know there's one more review video that I have inside of my storage. And as well as I have a bunch of content I could possibly make a video out of it's just finding the time to edit them i have gone on four or five dives since i've been back from my leave some of those dives i didn't you know nothing interesting happened and some of those dives i got one fish in it was a struggle but just letting you know there is content coming i can't guarantee you when but that's why i hit the notification bell and then you'll know when i post a video also, you could follow me on Instagram at Toon Life. I also post little clips of my dives or what I'm doing or whenever I post a video up on story on IG. Once again, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shoots.